just went to the Dead Sea and we tried to go to um, En Gedi. So we tried to go to En Gedi, but um, last night it rained. I don't know if you can see this morning or yesterday in the last video. Uh, it rained and we got <laughs> sure did. <laughs> Jeez. So um, we weren't able to get to En Gedi, so we ended up going over to Masad, which Masad is like probably more famous than En Gedi. More people know that from you know biblical stories and whatnot. There's a lot more tourism there, but we really wanted to go do some waterfalls, do some swimming and stuff. Maybe we can do that tomorrow or another day, but uh, at the very least, you know, we were able to you know, see Masad. And now we're going up to Jerusalem. So if you guys join us today and tomorrow and, you know, for the next videos, we're going to be doing Jerusalem. We're going to be seeing, uh, I'm going to go to a couple of the places around Israel and then eventually we'll go to En Gedi. But um, yeah, I'll be making a series of videos around Israel and just kind of show you guys what's going on and what you can do and all the cool sights and stuff to see. Yeah, what, what do you think, Jake? I think it's a blast so far. <laughs> yeah, having, having a good time. I had, I had, a, had a good time up there, man. The views on top of that mountain were spectacular, too. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, dude, the views. I'll put some pictures and the shirts in the last video. Or Yeah, oh. if, you, if you go to the link below, you'll see the video prior to this one about Masad and whatnot. And overlooking the Dead Sea was just... It put you in a whole nother mindset. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's crazy how that... Uh, like it was, it was like really foggy this morning from the clouds from the rain and like as the day progressed it got clearer and clearer and just like super beautiful. I mean you'll, you'll see some of the pictures of that. Salome. We're headed to Jerusalem. Yes, we're going to Jerusalem. Continue. Jerusalem. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the traffic. The traffic? Yeah, all of a sudden we get close to Jerusalem. So we're going to Jerusalem. We're gonna try to make it to this restaurant to get all the hummus. Hummus. All the, the good hummus. Jerusalem, that's the best hummus. Look at this, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Actually, I got some shrubbery. Oh, look at the green. A little, little bit of vegetation. Look at those clouds. There's usually never clouds. Like, this is actually one of the rarest, rarest days. It hasn't rained in weeks. Been here six months and it's like sprinkled twice. Yeah. <laughs> but last night it rained a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it rained a lot. Flooded. Oh, and Getty was still flooded. So that was that was a wash, literally. Um, yeah. Top stammer. Road closed. Yeah, road closed. Road closed. Oh man. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, we need a truck. We need a truck. Oh, what is up? Uh, <laughs> Rock that. Man, it shouldn't be. It should be getting too busy. We're like we're right up, almost into Jerusalem, but it's getting a little, a little bit of traffic. A little traffic. <laughs> my, my gimbal ran out of battery, so that's annoying. <laughs> Oh, you guys want to see outside the outside the window? Let's see that.
Oh yeah. It was like a magnet mount that just all Yeah, it was like a, a big round magnet that I put on the back of my phone. Okay. And a big round magnet on like the handlebar that just stuck on And the wind would just <laughs> peel it right off. If you didn't set it on there just right, the wind would peel it off. Now, if you set it on there just right, it held extremely strong. Like, I'd been in over 100 miles an hour with it, no issues. But if you don't put it on there just right, you could be going 30 miles an hour. There she goes. The first time I was like, okay, fluke mistake, my bad. Second time it happened, I, I, yeah, I was like, I'm done with this freaking mouth. Obviously, I have to get a new phone because it's destroyed. We did make it to the, the hummus shop, the Aram, oh, I don't Aram, like. Aram, Aram a, hummus. I took a picture of it. Yeah. So, so we did make it there. That phenomenal. was awesome. Phenomenal. Super good food. And he's Absolutely. not a big fan of hummus, but he liked it. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> so then we tried to get to our hostel. First off, <laughs> in the old city here in Jerusalem, there is very little service. So trying to figure out our way through the city is more or less just us asking people, hey, you which for that, the parking, dude. <laughs> oh my god. So we try to get parking and it's been great. Parking was terrible. We, we, found a, we found a spot eventually. But, but like the spot we could have gone to originally, we're like, we could have parked here. We could have. And then we went somewhere else. We got, we got cold feet and we're like, I don't know, this looks, I don't know. But we didn't want to get a ticket or nothing. Anyway, we found a spot. We managed to get ourselves into the old city. After searching for quite a while, I'd say, we, we, we found our hostel, right? We go in there, and it's not the best experience I've ever had. Yeah, before. I was like... It's pretty shady. I felt a little sketched out when I first got in there. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I got valuables in my backpack. I need some to lock up my lock, or lock up my backpack. You know, I never, never leave my stuff unlocked. Wouldn't recommend it. And the guy's like, well, what do you have in your bag? What do you yeah, got your bag, bro? Getting all hey, curious and stuff. Like, I'm like, it doesn't matter. I want my bag locked up. It's none of his business. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah so that place sketched us out. So we were like, see ya. <laughs> got our money back and stuff. Yeah. So I booked another place much nicer. We'll show you when we get there. So after we left there, we were like, all right. You know, he booked us a place. And we were like, let's go check out the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall. However many names it's got, but um, so we're over here now. Check it out. Um, like I was saying earlier, probably one of the probably top two or three religious sites, in my opinion, in the world. Um, I don't know 100% of the history on this place, but what I understand, as far as the reason they choose this portion of Jerusalem to worship, uh, is specifically the wall itself. Is that, of course, you know, throughout history, Jerusalem has been destroyed many times over by you know, many different conquerors and stuff. But from the original city, when it was originally built the first time, from what I understand, this wall portion here is the only part that's still original. The rest of the city has been rebuilt and stuff like that. But this particular part of the wall is the only original part left, which is why they consider it so holy, so sacred. That's but I think, you know, the facts might be mixed up, might be wrong. I might be completely off, but that's that's what I understand. Yeah, put it in the comments if we got it all mixed up, but uh, we, we made it. And then uh, we'll hopefully get some good rest tonight, do some more exploring, get some cool bartering, <laughs> yeah. bartering experience. Yeah, some, <laughs> some intense bartering with the locals. Very intense. 
This guy would not take no for an answer. We're like, no, dude. Nah, dude. I'd like pull Jake dude. away. He's like, dude's no. like holding on to my arm, and I'm confused. Like, I'm like, no, you're letting go of my buddy. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> oh, that's great. So we're here at the the Wailing Wall, and it's Shabbat today, which is kind of a big deal. Um, all the Messianic Jews, right? Yeah, yeah. All the Messianic Jews and all the, the Muslims. There's like one side for the Messianic Jews, there's one side for the Muslims, and everyone's here just celebrating. And uh, usually, where we're from in Israel, everything shuts down uh, on Friday night, like from Friday evening till Saturday evening. evening you know, like yeah. sunset to sunset, everything kind of shuts down. And, just taking in the sight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, crazy. Crazy. It's, it's so nippy. Like it's like down south it was like it's really cold. hot. Yeah, yeah. Now we're like we keep on putting our sweaters yeah. on. And... Back where we say it, I would never be wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> not yet anyway, maybe in a month or two. Yeah. It's not even I mean, compared to the United States, it's really not even that big. But like No, Israel's tiny dude. Israel's small. It's like yeah. as small as uh what, Maine or something? Maybe a tad bigger than that, but still, yeah. but still, small. Yeah, it's a pretty small no, perspective for you anyway. Like a, a fourth of uh, South Carolina or something. Yeah, it's pr probably yeah. a good, good equation. Yeah, probably a fourth of South Carolina. But, uh, and, yeah, this and it, it makes sense for it being their holy day, for it, for being as busy as it is. We're just so used to it seeing as soon as Friday evening hits, everyone's at home. No, you barely yeah. even it's see It's a big family day, which yeah. is nice. You, you know. barely even see cars driving, you know. It's just... <laughs> So coming to Jerusalem and seeing how how alive the city gets when this happens is pretty cool. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. On the background right now, that's my sister's art, Sarah Landon's art. If you want to see any of her art or buy some of her art, she's got paintings and prints and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. I don't know about the t-shirts, but she might. And if she doesn't, she should. Um, but that's, that's all in the description box. Shout out to her. Um, super cool art, you know, whatnot. Uh, and then, yeah, there's a bunch more videos. There's one more video of us in Jerusalem, and then I think I go off my own to the Sea of Galilee, do some waterfalls, go to Tel Aviv, do some more exploring around Jerusalem, or more exploring around Israel in general. So if you guys want to see some of that, stay tuned. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye.